Right now, Bond is set for the man who brought guns to the Capitol multiple times. We'll have details on the Bond's conditions. Also, President Biden will make a primetime address and is expected to ask Congress for aid for Israel. This says Israel denies it struck a hospital in Gaza. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Mark Kane. Thanks for tuning in. The man who police say brought guns to the state capitol demanded to see Governor Evers made his first appearance in court this morning. Joshua Piesnick of Madison is charged with carrying a firearm in a public building. He was also banned from the Capitol Square area. During a court appearance Thursday, his signature bond was set at $500 per case. Additionally, Piesnick is barred from being within 1,000 feet of the governor or any member of Evers' family. Meanwhile, in Watertown, the Department of Justice is investigating after an officer shot and killed a man last night. It happened when police responded to a damaged property call. When they got to the scene, the suspect had run off. Officers found him in the parking lot of Luther Prep School in Watertown. That's when police say the man turned toward them with a handgun. At least one officer shot him. The incident did not involve any student, faculty, nor staff at Luther Prep. Bond is set for a Janesville man accused of shooting at someone and leading police on a chase over the weekend. Sergio Morales is charged with attempted first-degree intentional homicide, first-degree recklessly endangering safety, eluding officers, and operating a firearm while intoxicated. His cash bond was set at $500,000. Madison police looking for several people who attacked a woman sitting in her car outside La Follette High School. It happened Tuesday afternoon. The woman told police an SUV pulled up beside her. Multiple people got out and tried to get into her vehicle. They managed to steal her bag. We don't know if the attackers were students. Four teenage boys are facing charges for breaking into a house near East Town Mall. Officers were called to a home on Dwight Drive around 5 o'clock Tuesday evening. A homeowner saw four people break into his home on home security camera. Police used those images to ID the teenagers who were later caught throwing rocks at cars nearby. All four were arrested for burglary. Let's head out to the weather patio now. Meteorologist Jacob Montesano has a look at your first certified, most certified, most accurate <laughs> forecast. There we go. Uh, some of those words uh, work together. Words here. <laughs> yeah, right now, uh, temperatures aren't too bad. For the most part, we're seeing cloudy skies, but there are a few breaks in the clouds. Looking outside, you know, it's a fairly comfortable uh, early afternoon right now. Temperatures, you know, in the upper 50s, so it's not too bad. As I mentioned, and across Dayton County, there are areas already in the lower 60s. Across much of our area, Area, there are a few places still in the lower 50s and we do have a chance of some rain later in the day. Now we're not seeing any rain right now, but in the central portion of the state we are starting to see some of those showers develop and throughout the afternoon we are going to see some scattered showers across our area. Now most of the rain will be light to moderate with maybe a few pockets of heavy rain. In general though we're not expected to see a whole lot of rain today and parts of our area may not see any rain at all. But most of this will clear out of our area, especially by the time we get to midnight. So for this afternoon, we're going to see high temperatures in the upper 50s. Some areas, as I mentioned, already in the lower 60s, mostly cloudy skies, a few scattered showers here and there. And then for the evening hours, we'll see temperatures in the 50s with some showers possible in the early evening. But later in the evening, that is when the rain is expected to begin to clear out of our area. Now, we do have a very good chance of rain for next week, and by next weekend, we may see our first freeze. I'll talk more in detail about that coming up a little bit later. Hey, we'll check that, Jacob. Thank you. President Biden is planning a primetime address tonight from the Oval Office following his trip to Israel. The White House says the speech will address the U.S. response to the conflict in Israel and Gaza following Hamas's terror attacks on Israel 12 days ago. Natalie Brand reports from Washington. <laughs> Palestinians dug through the rubble of a building Thursday as Israel continued its bombing campaign in Gaza, targeting the terror group Hamas. This man says there's nowhere safe in Gaza. You have to be ready to die. Outrage over the war and specifically Tuesday's deadly explosion at a Gaza City hospital is growing. Palestinians, we are with you to the death. Despite denials of responsibility from Israel and even President Biden, who visited Israel Wednesday. It appears the result of an errant rocket fired by a terrorist group in Gaza. 
Israel says aerial images of the aftermath do not show a crater, which would be expected after an airstrike. It also released what it says is an intercepted conversation between two Hamas operatives. It's from us, asks one. It looks like it, replies the other. Israel has raised the total number of confirmed hostages to 203, among them American Omer Nutra. The grandson of Holocaust survivors was serving with Israel's defense forces when Hamas launched its attack. Tears come at night. And I've been showering so much because I cry in the shower. You know, just let it out. And then I come out and I'm, I have to refocus again. And as the fighting overseas continues, a new bulletin obtained by CBS News from the FBI, Homeland Security and others is warning of new potential threats against Americans and confirms an increase in threats to the Jewish, Muslim and Arab communities. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. And during President Biden's trip, he persuaded the Israeli government to allow limited amounts of humanitarian aid to increasingly desperate civilians in Gaza. Up to 20 trucks of humanitarian goods will now be allowed to cross through the border with Egypt as early as tomorrow. One of the key figures in former President Trump's alleged efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 election is pleading guilty to six misdemeanor charges, this after reaching a plea deal with prosecutors. Attorney Sidney Powell will spend six years on probation, pay a $6,000 fine, and pay $2,700 in restitution to the state of Georgia. She initially faced seven charges and pleaded not guilty. Powell was among the conservative lawyers who pushed baseless claims of widespread fraud in the 2020 election. There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. Netflix is raising its prices again. Find out how much you have to pay next in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Are you worried about getting in and out of your bathtub to shower? Don't step over, step through with Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Let us custom fit your tub to be a walk-in shower without any remodeling. Our bathtub conversions take a few hours to complete. Call before you fall. Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. There's nothing better than a great night's sleep on a new Tempur-Pedic mattress from Steinhoffels. The Tempur-Pedic Breeze is made with a one-of-a-kind cooling technology that pulls heat away from your body, making the mattress feel up to 10 degrees cooler. Right now, Queen Tempur-Pedic Breeze mattresses are only $83 per month when you use Steinhoffels 72-month financing. Plus, get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Steinhoffels is your sleep solution destination. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffels.com. This is you, and you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care, because the way you, 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 and you feel matters. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health, know how much you matter to this world. Memories matter. This bend on Cox Hollow Lake was one of Dad's favorite fishing holes. Crest Funeral and Cremation Service helped us make sure he's never forgotten. Making it personal, it's how you heal. We are Cress. We truly believe your memories matter. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. Like our $9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. We've got questions about Medicare plans. Well, we've got a lot of answers. How can I help? Well, for starters, do you have a Medicare plan I can actually afford? How about a plan with a $0 monthly premium? Well, that's a great start. What other benefits can we get? Things like dental, vision, and hearing. But let me help you pick the plan that's right for you. <laughs> Don't wait. Call 1-800-ETNA-FOR-YOU to get answers to your questions and pick a plan that's right for you. And let's make healthier happen together. Are you worried about getting in and out of your bathtub to shower? Don't step over, step through with Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Let us custom fit your tub to be a walk-in shower without any remodeling. Our bathtub conversions take a few hours to complete. Call before you fall. Wisconsin Walk-In Showers.
Days after announcing its bankruptcy filing, Rite Aid says it plans to close 154 stores nationwide. That includes 40 locations in its home state of Pennsylvania. The pharmacy chain filed for Chapter 11 in order to restructure amid slumping sales and mounting opioid-related lawsuits. Netflix is raising its prices once again. The ad-free basic plan now costs $11.99 a month, a $2 increase, and the premium plan is getting bumped up $3 a month to $22.99. Netflix says it gained nearly 9 million subscribers this summer after its crackdown on password sharing. And great news for anybody who likes the window seat. Starting next week, United Airlines says they'll begin boarding economy window seat passengers first. The airline says the move is expected to save up to two minutes on boarding time. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Jared Hill. Check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up almost 11 points. The Nasdaq down 21. The S&P 500 down 20. Well, if you have T-Mobile, you might want to keep an eye on your next bill. The company is running a test in which it automatically switches some customers to more expensive rate plans. The change affects customers on older unlimited plans such as T-Mobile One, Simple Choice, and Magenta 55 Plus. All of those customers will be migrated to T-Mobile's 5G network plan, which starts at $75 per month per phone line. T-Mobile users will have to will have the option to keep their current plan or opt out of the new one by calling customer service. Delta Airlines is backtracking on some changes it recently made to its SkyMiles loyalty program for frequent flyers. Now, the carrier will lower the spending threshold for frequent flyers to hit certain reward levels. This will allow certain flyers who've accumulated millions of flight miles to earn a higher status. The new program is scheduled to go into effect in 2025. Next to noon, we have your egg prices. Jacob has the latest forecast. And then today on Live at Four, we go back 10 years in our Traveler Throwback Thursday. We revisit that tree in rural Grant County. It'll be a night of laughter and fun. It's the Bob and Tom Show Comedy Tour with comedians Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Jeff Oske. Performing live Saturday, November 4th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Nobody wants to think about cold weather, but now's the time to winterproof your home. Is your house cold every winter? Your home needs foam. Are your heating costs too high? Your home needs foam. Do you have different temperatures in different rooms? Your home needs foam. USA Premium Foam is over 35% more efficient than ordinary, weaker insulation. Winterproof now and get 0% financing for 72 months. USA Insulation. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. With Dean Health Plan, you can get the coverage you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. That includes medical, hospital, and prescription coverage with $0 copays for primary care doctor visits, plus extra benefits like comprehensive dental and savings on over-the-counter pharmacy items. Call 1-855-822-6173 now to request your free Dean Health Plan guide. Dean Health Plan, right here with you. It hits you when you step into any of the three Willie Street co-op stores, the smell of freshness. We work with hundreds of farms and vendors to bring you natural, organic, and local food selection unmatched in Madison. Everyone is welcome at Willie Street Co-op, and if you join our more than 30,000 owners, you'll get more sales, discounts, and perks. Fresh, local, organic, yours, Willie Street Co-op. The moms have a brand new show. Are you having a great time? I Mom So Hard Ladies Night, Saturday, November 18th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. Just smile and wave. On the Jennifer Hudson Show. This is the biggest surprise ever. Then Tay Diggs is here. I think you got more hats than I got glasses. I have to take the place of the hair that's no longer there. <laughs> on the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Our Coats for Kids giveaway kicks off tomorrow with a big reveal. We're live at the Boys and Girls Club with our final coat tally and what your gift means to local families. Yeah, it looks like we're setting up for a wet week next week. We'll have an update tomorrow morning between 4.30 and 7. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. 
Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today. She'll be back on Monday. So here are your farm numbers. It is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and while the disease is most often found in women, men can also get it. Madeline Wright introduces us to one survivor who wants other men to know the symptoms. Think quick. That a boy. That's better. 45 year old Juan Namnan says the best part about coaching is the relationship with his team. I knew that I wanted to have an impact like my coach had on me. So he went to work for Frankfurt High School, where he's been the head baseball coach for 17 years. But in July 2022, he found a lump in his chest. His wife urged him to get it checked out. Doctors said it was stage two breast cancer. Complete and utter shock. I was speechless. Breast cancer or almost any kind of cancer doesn't run in my family. According to the CDC, 99% of breast cancers diagnosed in the U.S. are found in women. 1% are found in men. Experts say anyone can get the disease, and it can easily go undetected. Unlike for women, uh, you know, there is no breast cancer routine screening for men. Namnan had to get a double mastectomy. Cancer was a big hit to him and his players. So sad, I've been crying, actually. And, uh... I just was like praying for him every night. The coach says he missed three and a half months of work during his treatment. He's been back at the school for about a year. Players are thrilled to have him back. I think of him as my dad. Cause you know, I didn't really have a father figure growing up. You know, and for everybody, he's been a father figure. The coach, now an ambassador for the American Cancer Society, urges men to be in tune with their bodies. When you find a lump, it doesn't hurt anything to check, to feel, to self-test. A process that only takes a couple minutes and could save your life so you can go back to the people you love. Madeline Wright, CBS News, Philadelphia. About 2,800 new cases of invasive breast cancer will be diagnosed in men this year. That's according to the American Cancer Society. We can see some showers later today. Jacob's back with the latest forecast, and that could even help the drought even more. Yeah, if we take a look at the drought monitor, which factors in the rain we saw last week, a lot of southern Wisconsin is either under abnormally dry or no drought whatsoever. So a lot of improvements, but we could still use a bit more to the northwest of Madison. There is still a severe drought and even portions of Crawford and Grant County still under severe drought. So we had a lot of improvement and but we could definitely use a bit more and next week, especially there looks like there could be uh, more improvements to the drought monitor. So here are the three things you need to know. Could see some light showers this afternoon as well as uh, Friday night, you know, not going to be a huge issue with uh, that the chance of rain there. For the most part, we're going to be dry and cool over the weekend. And then for the middle of next week, it does look like we have another pretty significant chance of rainfall. So looking at the current radar, it looks like these showers are really just starting to develop around uh, northern Adams County. Expect showers to continue to impact uh, across our area for the next couple of hours. Again, it will mostly be light to moderate with maybe a few pockets of heavy rainfall, but it is possible that parts of our region uh, don't even see rain at all. It's just going to be pretty scattered. 
on and off for the most part, and it will clear out by the later evening. And then by the time we get to the overnight hours, we're going to be dry again with clear skies for tomorrow morning. But then we are going to see some clouds roll in during the afternoon evening with that chance of rain beginning in the later evening, mostly to the east of Madison. Places near Iowa may not see that rainfall, but uh, don't be surprised if we see some more on and off showers Friday night with maybe some lingering rain for Saturday morning. But for the most part, Saturday is looking pretty dry. Now here's a look at the temperature forecast. We'll see lows in the 40s tonight, so a fairly mild night compared to the average low, which is now right around uh, the upper 30s. And then as we go into tomorrow, we are going to see those temperatures right around 60, so it's going to be pretty comfortable. You know, we're getting to the time of year where these are actually above average. The average high now is 58 degrees, so it is going to continue. The average high is obviously going to continue to fall, but when we get highs right around 60, you know, that's pretty good. Here's a look at the weekend forecast 50s, so a bit cooler, a breezy on Saturday, not as breezy on Sunday, although Sunday might be a bit chillier. Now we are going to see those temperatures rise to possibly the mid 60s for Tuesday but then they're really going to plummet for next weekend. High, high temperatures may only be around 40 for next weekend, and the big reason for that, as I mentioned, we do have a good chance of rain. Now, I'm not going to show future casts because a lot can change between now and then, but right now it does look like we have a pretty significant chance of rainfall, especially for Wednesday and Thursday. We'll have more details on that system as it gets closer, but I want to mention one thing. Take a look at Friday night into Saturday morning, a possible mix. So we may see our first uh, snowflakes uh, by the time we get to next weekend. Now we're not going to see any accumulation with that, but it is worth mentioning as those temperatures will drop into the 30s overnight and highs will only be around 40 for next weekend. But until then, we are going to see a dry weekend for the most part with pretty mild temperatures Tuesday with highs right in the mid 60s. I wouldn't be surprised if parts of our area possibly get close to 70. So we are going to see those temperatures rise before they fall. But next week, you know, it's hard to say for sure, but it could be pretty similar to the system we saw last week. But obviously the temperatures are going to drop a lot further as we do have that chance of some snowfall. So possible even more improvements to the drop monitor are to come. Up and down. It's that time of year. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, Jacob, thank you. We are seeing new images of last Saturday's Ring of Fire eclipse. Here's what the Earth looked like from space during the event. You can see the moon's shadow across North America. Most Wisconsinites missed out on the eclipse because it was too cloudy, but we could catch the next one. Mark your calendars. It'll be visible in the U.S. on June 21st, 2039. There's more to come on News 3 Now at Noon. I'm next to see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Mac and cheese so good, you'll be saying hot diggity dog. You're not going to want to miss how easy this is. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Visit our fall festival open house November 1st for a tour or call Demery today. Save on your next project with 11% off everything at Menards. Update the floors in your home with Great Lakes Vinyl Flooring. It's a perfect addition for any room in your home. Find a wide selection of waterproof and durable floors that are easy to install. Great Lakes Vinyl Floors also feature an attached pad for comfort and noise reduction. Heritage Vinyl Plank is only $3.29 per square foot after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kww.com. 
Sky Construction invites you to usher in the fall season with our exclusive fall sale. We're talking about savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer four years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board for our fall savings. Save 23% off gutters with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at FryConstruction.com. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for Active Seniors 55 Plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Visit our Fall Festival open house November 1st for a tour or call Demery today. This is the time of year when we start to crave comfort foods. And in my book, nothing is more comforting than macaroni and cheese. So we decided to take our everyday shortcut mac and cheese and bring it up a notch. What we ended up with is a cheesy weeknight favorite that is uniquely satisfying. We start by cooking the macaroni from a couple of boxes of quick cooking mac and cheese. After it's tender, we drain it. And in the same pot, we add some melted butter, the cheese packs that come in the box, along with some dry mustard. We mix this well and stir in a few beaten eggs along with a good amount of shredded cheddar. And now for the part that you didn't see coming, we toss in some hot dogs that we cut into half inch pieces. This goes into a loaf pan before we pop it into the oven to set up. And right before it's done, we'll top it with more cheese and back into the oven it goes. When your gang sees how ooey gooey this hearty sliceable mac and cheese is, you better stand back. And don't let the fact that this starts with a shortcut mac and cheese kid ya, cause this is really tasty. To get the recipe for our loaf pan mac and cheese, simply visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a weeknight favorite way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. <laughs> It's time to introduce you to our pet of the week. Meet Belle. This four-year-old rabbit can be shy at first, but once she warms up to you, she's very friendly and curious. Belle enjoys munching on Timothy hay and dandelion leaves. She's lived with other rabbits and got along well with them. Belle is looking for a home with, to explore with a patient family who will spoil her with love, snuggles, and veggies. Dane County Humane Society is offering a fun new program for children 7 to 12 years old. The Humane Society's After Dark will be held Fridays once a month from 4.30 to 7. Each event will include a different theme and feature classroom animals and various animal-related activities and lessons. The first event next Friday with the theme Howl Oween Party so kids can bring a costume. To learn more and register, visit giveshelter.org slash after dark. Last week's pet Dart the Dog and Vita the Dog featured the week before are both still available for adoption. If you are interested in adopting Bell or checking out all the other animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org. And here's Jacob now with one final check of the forecast. Thanks, Mark. Today we're going to see those high temperatures in the upper 50s, lower 60s. We could see those showers, but it is possible that parts of our area end up not seeing any rain at all as the rain is not supposed to be uh, very significant. Now, looking at the seven day forecast, temperatures will cool down for the weekend and then rise back up to possibly the 60s for Tuesday. And then we have that system moving through, bringing plenty of rainfall and will also bring much cooler temperatures. By Friday night, we could actually see a mix of rain and snow, and that will continue into Saturday morning, although we're not expected to see any accumulation. Now, I was also just made aware that there's a Badgers game next week, Saturday night, and look at that overnight low of 29 Saturday night into Sunday. So bundle up if you plan on attending. And That's it's Ohio State. Yes. <laughs> That's our time for now. We'll see you back here at 4. Have a great afternoon.